I'm Kim Knott and I work at Lancaster University where I direct Crest's work on ideology, society and security threats. In a recent research review, we examined the role that families play in the transmission of ideology. We asked what role parents play in passing on ideas, beliefs and values to their children. We might like to think that our children pick up our beliefs and values and that they do the things that we want them to do and that they learn according to our own principles, but the research shows that that's not always the case. The evidence shows us that mothers are better transmitters than fathers, but that depends on their parenting style. It depends on whether what they're trying to transmit is a topic of the day, whether it's salient. If parents agree, so mothers and fathers agree and they're not in our arguing about things, then they, if they transmit their ideas and beliefs more successfully. We also can see that concrete ideas, such as religious identity or political affiliation, those, those can be more successfully transmitted than more abstract ideas and values, for example. The evidence also shows that children are not passive in the process. So whereas older research tended to assume that parents did all the transmitting and that children just lapped it up, now we can see that children are active agents in the process as well. They sometimes defy their parents, they challenge them. Some of the case studies uh, in the research, for example, show that left-wing parents have been very surprised to find when their children have adopted far-right extremist views. But then there are other occasions where uh, children evidently uh, challenge the views of their parents. So they may either teach their parents, pass on their ideas to parents, or become quite um, demonstrative in taking a different stand. Another strand of research has shown that the nature of the political cause also might make a difference. So revolutionary terrorists, for example, they, are often, uh, they often challenge the views of their parents' generation. Whereas in the case of some nationalist groups or separatist groups, they're often carrying on the battle um, that their parents generated. So they're often loyal to the views of their parents. So what does all this research show us in the end? Well, it shows that family isn't everything. It shows that some members of families may be more important than others, but that transmission can take place in all directions, from sibling to sibling, from child to parent, and vice versa. It shows that the nature of a cause may change things, and the actual message being transmitted so things are not all they seem in the world of ideological transmission. If you'd like more information about the research we've been conducting, please follow it up on the Crest website.